Hi guys, welcome back to reading the word and understanding the Bible verse. Today I read Isaiah chapter 7 and Isaiah chapter 8. And what I find interesting or what stands out to me the most is in Isaiah chapter 8, verse 11 is where I'm going to start. And it says, The Lord spoke to me with his strong hand upon me, warning me not to follow the ways of this people, he said. So, this is interesting because God's telling Isaiah, the people around you are about to get snared. They're about to get trapped. I'm going to open um, rivers and they're going to overflow and and flood, flood Israel and destroy the land. For what their sins have done. And it also says that they um, people will stumble. They're going to fall. And the land's going to be captured by the flood. But he says in verse 17, which I like too. It says, I will wait for the Lord who is hidden his face from the house of J Jacob. I will put my trust in him. So, during this time of Isaiah, not only does him and his family have to put trust and faith in the Lord, but also they have to realize that God is in control and they have to put their faith in God to protect them during, during this time because the people he was living with weren't following God's path. They were worshipping statues. They were sacrificing their their kids to other to fake the false gods. They were worshipping Satan during this time. And God used Israel I mean God used Isaiah to come and help his Israel restore and Israel to come back to worshiping God. And this is how God did it. And I think that's interesting because that still happens today in our life. When we become, when we accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, our sins from be go away and we begin a new creation. We begin a new walk with the Lord. And hopefully as you grow your word and as you read your Bible, your eyes are open more to the sin around you. Just like it, just like it was back in the Old Testament, and you can see that God is working in your life. So I pray that helps you guys stay. Pray that you guys have a good day. Bless, say, love you guys, and God bless.